The Greenville County Aquatic Complex. Bill Ewell whistles. Parker Egbert works. Yo. I have an ability of being able to whistle. He just kicks it in when I whistle. So his coach signals. And Parker kicks and kicks. He'll give it 110% until he has nothing left to give. There you go, Parker, there you go. It just turned into like three days a week, to four days a week, to five days a week, then doubles. But these are no run-of-the-mill two-a-days. Meantime, two-time Olympian Abby Wamba. At 3.30 a.m., six days a week. This upcoming Olympics in Tokyo. Parker's mom, Laura, makes the 70-minute drive from Greenwood to Greenville. He's never complained when I wake him up at 3 in the morning. Never once said, I don't want to do this. Home for school. Back again at night. I think we're kind of just so used to it. When you're putting 300 miles on your car a day, we feel like this is his opportunity. Between the lanes, beneath the waves, Parker's found peace and quiet. And it makes me very, very calm. When he was little, I noticed just some differences. He wasn't staying with his friends. He started not liking sounds. I kind of started picking up on maybe autism. Mom was right. And at 18 months old, the Egberts started more than 40 hours a week in therapy. I mean, I was grasping at anything I could possibly grasp at that would help him. And after he would swim, he was just calm and quiet and peaceful. Life now is with Team Greenville, where Parker's competitive side took off. We talk and go, hey, hey, Parker, this person next to you, it, oh, I got him. I can beat him. He just has an internal flame that keeps him, you know, trying to be better. Step up. And swimming faster all the time. An intellectual disability meant he was eligible for Paralympic competition. So when COVID closed the aquatic center, the Egberts installed an endless pool in their backyard. I mean, it was April and he was freezing to death wearing a wetsuit in our pool, swimming. There you go, nicely done. His, his world is, uh, is, is swimming, but his world is his family. Um, his world is respect. Your current American record holder. All in sync. Parker Egbert. Last month in Minnesota. In Greenwood, South Carolina. Parker, Parker found Egbert. out he will be a United States Paralympian. Parker Egbert. <laughs> How could we get so lucky for our prayers and our path to get answered? Now we have a Paralympian for a son. I don't know if it's even hit, and maybe it's hitting even right now. All I've ever prayed for is some independence and some purpose in his life. One lap at a time, with a quote from Michael Phelps, Parker's favorite swimmer, propelling him onward. The more you'll dream, the farther you'll get. Under his cap, behind his goggles, Parker's dreams are 50 meters away. He really puts things in perspective. He's so much more pure in his love for the sport because he's just wide-eyed. I think he's taught me how to be a better parent. I focused on the little things, you know, is my house clean, is this done, are the grades right, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I say to all three of my kids, be kind. Go out there and be a kind human being, because to me, that's more important than anything, and all we want is kindness for him. Magical is probably, inspirational is probably even a, another way to be able to look at it. And I think the joy that he gets out of it, just to see what he has been able to do. Yep. 